you so much for tuning in today and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please think about hitting the subscribe button. We typically post videos that are about lifestyle, beauty, leisure, travel, and everything in between, but more specifically, our leisure wear line, Jolie Moi. On today's video, I'm showing you guys how I got salon results on my fine texture hair. I am so impressed with the results and I hope you guys like it. I'm dyeing my hair today. It's wash day, so I'm letting you guys in on the scoop of how I do my hair. I'm trying a few new techniques. So to color my hair black, I typically use the uh, L'Oreal Preference in Onyx Sheen, which is kind of like a blue-based jet black. But this time I decided to use the Ion Liquid Permanent um, color. I'll put this in the description box. And then I always use the L'Oreal Technique um, brand 20 volume developer with my color. And so I'll put both of these in the description box so you guys can know exactly what I, uh, where I got them from and what I got. But I did get them from Sally's. Um, I already have, I have I purchased two boxes because I didn't know if I would need more than one. Um, my hair is straight right now. Usually when it's curly, I usually use more, but I may not have to use that much. I rarely go from straight to, you know, with coloring my hair. So I already have one already mixed. So this is two ounces of developer with the two ounces of the color. So I will be using that. And then I have my gloves that I got from Sally's, just regular basic black gloves. They are the Salon Care brand. I'll put those in the uh, description box too, just in case you guys want to know um, about those too. and then I'm going to also use the concentration nozzle after I'm done using this part right here, the comb, and then I'm going to take this concentration nozzle and really smooth my hair out with my Denman brush. Before I um, blow dry my hair, I'm going to take this Tresemme heat protection spray. Um, it's up for up for uh, 400 up to 450 degrees. My flat iron is going to be on, and I'm trying to get down because it's already up, it's going to be on 350. Actually 360 because it doesn't go to 350. If this is a EAP um, heat flat iron, probably going to 340. But yeah, so that's what it's going to be on so it doesn't need all of that um, because I have fine strands and my hair is not super thick anyways, so it should be fine. I've not flat iron on 
you know, like a 350 setting uh, before, but um, I don't want my hair to be super, super bone straight either because then it falls really flat. I will say after using that um, Ion hair color, my hair is super soft, but usually after I color my hair, it is super soft. It looks darker, but it doesn't, honestly, it doesn't look as dark as when I use the um, L'Oreal. So I don't know. I hope that this is the dark hair color that I'm really looking for. We'll see once it gets dry and everything. Um, I may have to go back to the regular color that I usually do next time. trying to get a silkier you know flat iron so um, what she does she just uses the um, I think she uses silk elements um, heat protecting spray and then she blow dries and that's all she uses so that's what I'm doing too um, to see if maybe that helps me to get like a silkier blow dry because usually I do like a little bitty like dime size of leave-in conditioner and then um, like some sort of a serum or something but I think it might be a little too heavy for my hair. It doesn't come out like way down, but it's not as movable and you know like luscious and pretty. So I'm trying that um, tonight to see if my hair turns out like that. Who are out there who probably 
um, have finer, thinner hair, you're, you know, probably on the quest to getting fuller hair. Um, so as far as my ends go, I definitely need another trim. It's been a few months since I've gotten a trim. I think my last trim was probably back in November. I need to go and get a trim. I don't really get much trimmed off. Um, like I don't like to get it cut even and things like that. Um, the girl that I go to, she's really great. She's not scissor happy. So I really like that. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the flat iron and curl it, curl my hair, wrap it, and then I'm going to use this plastic bag that I found um, to finish because what Janae does after she's done flat ironing her hair is she um, curls it and then wrap it, put this um, bag on, do cool um, heat, not heat, but cool air uh, for about five minutes. does have nice movement has a little bit of fullness now this is what I normally do with like my weave when I my extensions when I have it so I'm gonna see if this works with my hair too just kind of taking it teasing it I hate teasing my real hair because it kind of creates tangles but I want to see what happens mm, not much so I would have to play with this a lot. But yeah, other than that, it's really pretty. Let's see, let's try a side part. So this is it with a side part. Kind of a rough side. Yeah, that is my hair so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you guys want to see more videos like this please comment below let us know what you're doing with your hair going into summer more than likely I won't be doing my hair like this for the summer because it gets hot and your hair gets all sweaty but I do like to every now and again just kind of check on my hair and see how it's doing and see you know what I can do with it and things like that but I really love the results um, it's really silky, very pretty. I wish it had a little bit more curls to it. I would probably have to do like some rollers or something like that to really get it to set and then, you know, go from there. But, um, I really like it. It's super shiny. Like I said, not as black as I would like it, but it's super shiny and, um, it looks really good. So yeah, so I thank you guys for watching. You guys have a good one. Bye.